Good morning friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Noyan, a general practitioner based in Manchester. In today's vlog, I'll take you through a typical day in the life of a primary care doctor in the UK. The day begins at 7am when I start by making myself a cup of coffee. Whilst having my coffee, I use this opportunity to update myself with the current news and reply to any urgent emails. Today I have a long day, so I need to squeeze an exercise at the start of my day. There's nothing like going for a run first thing in the morning to start the day feeling fresh. When I exercise before work, I find that I'm more alert and energetic throughout the day and I don't get this sluggish feeling after lunchtime. Once the run is over, I take a cold shower, get dressed with a pair of scrubs. At 8.15, I set off to work. On the drive to work, I normally listen to a podcast. Today I was listening to the property podcast. I would highly recommend this to anyone who's interested in property investment. Today's episode was about HMOs, houses of multiple occupation. Whilst listening to podcasts, I take notes on anything that resonates with me on an app called Draft. The great thing about Draft is you can dictate via Siri or your Apple Watch, which works brilliantly when you're driving. I get to work around 8.45 just in time to say hello to the girls in the office before I begin my clinic. I get updates on today's clinic lists and anything important I need to know about the patients booked in with me so I can prioritize. Patients who are suspected to be sick or unwell, I try to contact them first thing in the morning before I start my clinic. Before I start work, I wipe down all the surfaces on my workstation which has become the new norm and we do this several times a day. Once I've made myself a nice cup of tea, I set up my bag which I will need later, I log into the computer and see what's been booked in with me and begin the clinic at 9am. Unfortunately due to the pandemic, all the consultations are via telephone to keep the patients and staff members safe. We try and deal with most medical complaints remotely by using telephone, photos and video consultations. We can also send all the prescriptions electronically to the pharmacy to minimise face-to-face -face encounters. If the patients need seeing, then we arrange a face-to-face -face assessment at the end of the clinic. In a typical day in general practice, we see between 13 to 15 patients per session. A session is essentially a clinic and we normally have two sessions per day. Okay, so the morning surgery is now done. Uh, I've spoken to all the patients, but I do have a few patients who I've spoken to this morning and I'm bringing into the surgery to examine. So it's time for me to gown up. We we'll need to wear all the relevant protections and bring them in one by one and examine these patients. I then go on to do the home visit. We typically do home visits for any housebound and care home patients. Each GP can have up to three visits a day depending on the number of doctors and the number of home visit requests. I like that it gets me out of the surgery to get some fresh air in this glorious weather and change of scenery. I usually use this opportunity to go for a quick walk to the local shops to get a coffee before I head back to the surgery. I'm now back at the surgery to do administrative jobs for the practice, which includes issuing repeat prescriptions, reviewing investigation reports such as bloods and scan reports, and reading through hospital letters. With paperwork out of the way, I start my afternoon clinic at 2.30. Once all the patients have been spoken with, I bring in anyone who needs seeing and complete all the necessary paperwork after the clinic. That's the end of my afternoon clinic around 5.30. I'm rushing out of the surgery to make it on time for my second dose of the COVID vaccination as the clinic closes at 6 o'clock. After the first dose, I only developed a sore arm for a couple of days. I really hope I don't get any systemic symptoms after the second dose as I have to be back at work tomorrow. Once I get the vaccination, we have to stay there for 15 minutes of observation before we get to leave. I grabbed a sandwich for my dinner on the way to an evening clinic in the extended hours service. This is a great service for anyone who can't get an appointment with their own GP. We see between 6 to 10 patients per clinic. There was a couple of patients I was concerned about so I asked them to come in to be examined. One of them were too unwell, I had to send them straight to a &E. It's now 9.30, all the paperwork have been done and I'm officially signing off for the day. It's been a long busy day with lots of interesting cases. My arm is starting to ache a little but thankfully feeling okay otherwise. On my commute home I try to listen to music, 
something calming to unwind. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. As always, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.